Good day everyone. Today uh, we will have a drill about the teacher and the school curriculum. Again, we will have a drill about the teacher and the school curriculum. First, we will discuss the types of curricula. Again, types of curricula. Meron tayong seven types of curricula. What are those? RTW SLA. Again, RTW SLA. Recommended curriculum, taught curriculum, written curriculum, supported curriculum, learned curriculum, assessed curriculum, hidden or implicit curriculum. Again, types of curricula, RTW SLA. RTW SLA. Recommended, taught, written, supported, learned, assessed, and hidden. Now, ano ang recommended? Ito yung mga policy, standards, and guidelines that came from government agencies. For example, TESDA, CHED, DEPED, UNESCO, um, PAFTE. Yan yung mga recommended curriculum. Next, taught curriculum. Ito yung um, put life to the written curriculum. So, ito na yung mga tinuturo ng teacher. Next, written, ito na yung pagtuturo ng teacher, taught curriculum. Next, written curriculum, ito yung includes um, documents based on the recommended curriculum. For example, lesson plan, CGR curriculum guide. Next, supported curriculum, ano ba ito? Ito yung mga um, support materials that the teachers needs like print materials and non-print materials. For example nito, ito yung mga books, um, mga learning materials, visual aids, yon. Next, learned curriculum. Ito yung, syempre, alam na natin to, ito yung mga tinuturo, di ba? Ay, ito yung mga natutunan ng mga sudyante. These are measured by tools in assessment which can indicate that cognitive, affective, and psychomotor outcomes. Next, ano nga ulit? Ulitin nga ulit natin yung mnemonic sa types of curricula. RTW SLA. Again, RTW SLA. R for recommended. T for curriculum. W for written curriculum. S for supported curriculum. L for learned curriculum. And A for assessed curriculum. Ano ba yung assessed? From the word assessed, ito yung mga evaluation. Evaluated after it has been taught. It, alam na natin ito, mga assessment for, assessment as, assessment of. Okay, assessment for, formative, assessment of. So, um, summative assessment as self um, mga self assessment next hidden or implicit curriculum ito yung mga unwritten curriculum ito na yung mga experiences peer influence school environment media parental pressures and societal changes so alam na natin to again ano ang mnemonics ng types of curricula RTW SLA Again, RTW SLA Recommended, taught, written, supported, learned, assessed, and hidden Meron tayong ano dito, PQW, PQF Anong PQF? Philippine Qualification Framework Again, PQF, Philippine Qualifications Framework Ano naman ang AQRF? Ano ang AQRF? ASEAN Qualifications Reference Framework Ito yung movement Ang AQRF ay um, movement. Ito ay oh, noong 2008 ni Arroyo pin pinirmahan sa ASEAN na mag-change ng curriculum. Kaya na-push ang 2013. Uh, no, uh, kaya na-push ang K-12 noong 2013. Again, AQRF, um, pinir noong, noong 2008 si Arroyo pumirma sa ASEAN na mag-change ng curriculum. Kaya na-push ang K-12 noong 2013. Kaya naintindihan? Okay, next, let's proceed sa um, the teacher as a curricularist. So, ito yung mga roles of a curricular, curricularist. Next, um, ano ang ano natin ito, mnemonics? So, meron three eyes. Um, three eyes, quep. Again, three eyes, quep. Again, three eyes, Quep. Meron dito yung initiator, innovator, implementor, knower, writer, evaluator, and planner. Again, three eyes. Quep. Initiator, innovator, implementor, um, knower, writer, evaluator, and planner. So, unahin natin tong I. Yung three eyes. Initiator, innovator, and implementor. Unahin natin yung initiator. Ano ba yung initiator? As a teacher... Uh, ito yung implementation of a new curriculum that requires willingness or open-mindedness. So, um, 
ginamit na ng teacher ang mga idea, ang mga new idea. So, willing to adapt siya sa mga changes. Next, innovator. Again, number one, initiator. Number two, innovator. Ano naman innovator? From the word innovate. So, dapat creative ka. So, meron creativity and innovations. Tapos, dapat out of the box and unique. Okay? Next, ano nga ulit yung una? Initiator. Pangalawa, innovator. Pangatlo, implementer. Okay? Ang implementer, ito na yung gives life to the curriculum. For example, taught curriculum. Ito yung core of the curriculum. Ginawa na talaga siya. It is where the teaching, it is where the teaching, guiding, facilitating skills of the teacher are expected at the highest level. So, sino nga ulit ang prime movers? Sino ang prime movers <laughs> ng curriculum? Ang teacher. Okay, next. Ano nga ulit yung three eyes? Initiator, innovator, and implementer. Next, dito tayo sa evaluator. Ito naman yung mga desired learning outcomes na dapat ma na achieve na. Series of evaluation. So, evaluator. Um, evaluator. <laughs> Next, um, ay three eyes, di ba? Three eyes, tapos quip. And knowledge pa pala. Initiator, innovator, implementer, tapos knower. Ano naman yung knower? Pag sabi from the word no no dapat master merong mastery of the content dapat expert ka di ba dapat di ba yung merong tatlong power ang teacher legitimate expert and um referent so dapat expert merong master of the content yun yung no word okay next quep di ba quep K quep W ang sunod. K, knower. W, writer. Ano naman yung writer? Ito naman yung a classroom teacher takes record of knowledge. Okay? Takes record. For example, ito yung mga gumagawa ng books, ng research. Yun yung mga writer. Okay? Next, dito na tayo sa evaluator. Balik tayo sa evaluator kasi ang numerics natin ay three eyes, quep. Knowledge, Writer, Evaluator, and Planner. So, ang evaluator, alam na natin to, determines if the desired learning outcomes have been achieved. So, ito yung mga series of evaluation na ginagawa ng mga teacher. Okay? Next, Planner. Ang last ay Planner. Ano naman ang Planner? Ito yung teacher's role to make yearly, monthly, or daily plan of the curriculum. So, pag nang daily plan, di ba? Ito na yung mga lesson plan. At ito yung normal na ginagawa ng mga teacher to prepare. Okay? Naintindihan? Ano nga ulit yung um, seven teacher roles of a curriculum, of teacher as a curricularist? Initiator, innovator, implementer, evalu ay, knower, writer, evaluator, and planner. Again, seven roles of a curricularist. Initiator, innovator, implementer, knower, writer, evaluator, and planner. At ang lahat ng iyon ay task ng teacher. Okay? Okay, let's proceed sa sa factors to consider in planning a curriculum. Ano yung mga ano yung limang factors na kinang i-consider pag magplano ng curriculum? Una, learner. Sunod, materials. Sunod, time. Sunod, subject. Next, desired outcomes. Alam na natin to, learner, materials, time, subject matter, and desired outcomes. So, LMT, SD. LMT, SD. LMT, SD, planning a curriculum, okay? Lear learner, materials, time, subject matter, and learning outcomes or desired outcomes. Okay, so now let's proceed sa mga definitions of curriculum. So, merong um, definitions ang curriculum. Ito yung mga sa ordinary at sa mga um, educators. Ang ordinary, ito yung mga ordinary people. Ito yung pagtingin nila sa kung ano ang meaning ng curriculum. Pag sinabi namang um, progressive definition, ito naman yung mga pagtingin ng mga um, educators. Okay. So, meron two types ng definition of curriculum, ang traditional at saka progressive o ang ordinary at saka ang broad definition. Unahin natin ang um, traditional definition or ang ordinary 
definition. Sabi ng mga, ang tingin ng mga ordinary people, ang curriculum ay set of courses. Tama din naman. At ito ay proper goals and ito rin ay can be considered as a system of dealing with people and the process. And it is means of attaining the aims of philosophy education. Pwede rin daw itong planned learning experiences and list of subjects and courses. At ito daw ay, ito rin ay mga limited definition. So, documents only lang yung alam nila na ang curriculum ay only documents. Tapos, um, ang curriculum daw ay only occurs inside the classroom. So, sa traditional, ang curriculum ay only occurs inside the classroom. So, next Naintindihan na ang ordinary set of courses, proper goals, system of dealings, planned learning experience, li list of subject and courses, ordinary and limited, documents only, and curriculum only occurs inside the classroom. Now, let's proceed to progressive definition or ang broad, broad, broad definition. O, ito yung mga enriched na, okay? Sabi nila, sabi mga educator, ito ang sum total of all the learning experiences. So, more on experiences na sa progressive. Experiences, entire range of experiences, and set of learning and experiences for students planned by the school to attain the aims of education. So, sa progressive, ang curriculum din ay occurs inside and outside of the classroom. Sa traditional kasi, inside the classroom lang. Sa progressive, inside and outside of the classroom. Okay? So, ang tanong dito, which is best? Ang traditional ba ang progressive? So, it depends sa perspective ng... It, it depends sa perspectives. Okay? Sino ang best sa kanilang dalawa? It depends sa perspectives. Okay, dito na tayo sa mga views of curriculum. Sino-sino ba ang mga tao dito? Mga important people na dapat nating tandaan pag sinabing views of curriculum. So, unahin natin ang traditional o ang ordinary or limited definition. Ito ang uh, mga bida dito ay may apat, si Raj P. Okay, ang bida sa traditional view ay si Raj P. Robert Hutchins, Arthur Bestor, Joseph Schwab, Schwab, and Philip Phoenix. Okay, Raj P. Robert, Arthur, Joseph, Philip. Or Hutchins, Bestor, Schwab, Phoenix. So, unahin natin si Robert Hutchins. Si Robert Hutchins, isa siyang perennialist. Pag sinabi natin perennialist, di ba? Permanent yan, di ba? Walang change sa kanila. And it, sabi dito, it is not broken. Why change it? Okay? So, ang tatanda natin sa kay Robert Hutchins, permanent studies and rules of grammar, reading, rhetoric, logic, and math are emphasized. So, di sabi rin dito ay three R's sa basic education. Pag sa basic education daw, dapat i um, ang importante ay ang three R's. Pero pag sa um, college, liberal education. Ano may yung liberal education? Ito yung humanities and arts. Okay, again, Robert Hutchins, perennialist, permanent studies. Um, why not change? It is not broken. Why change it? Next, three R's sa basic ed. Liberal education for college. Ano yung liberal? Humanities and arts. Now, let's proceed kay Arthur Bestor. Arthur Bestor. Sino nga ito una? Si Robert Hutchins. Pangalawa, si Arthur Bestor. Si Arthur Bestor naman, isa namang essentialist. More on intellectual naman siya. Ang tatandaan natin kay Arthur Bestor, intellectual training. Again, Bestor, intellectual training. So, dapat include daw ang merong apat na subject na dapat i-include. Math, science, history, and foreign language. Pag sabi foreign language, English yan, di ba? So, ano nga ulit kay Arthur Bestor? Intellectual training. Math, science, history, and foreign language. Kay Hutchins, permanent studies. Three R's, basic education, liberal education for college. Next, si Hutchins yung una, di ba? Pangalawa si Bestor. Ang pangatlo ay si Joseph Schwab. Okay? Sabi niya, siya naman ang nag... Um, coined the term discipline. 
Okay? Pag sinabing discipline, isang discipline lang si Schwab. Okay? Yun lang. Tatandaan lang natin ay discipline. Coin, coin the term discipline. Si Joseph Schwab. Next, Philip Phoenix. Si Philip Phoenix naman, tatandaan natin, various discipline. Kung si Schwab, isang discipline lang, si Philip naman ay various discipline daw. Ang curriculum daw should consistly consist entirely of knowledge which comes from various disciplines. Okay, yun lang yung tatandaan natin kay Robert Hutchins, perennialist, permanent studies, three R's, basic education, liberal education, Arthur Bestor, um, intellectual training, kay Joseph Schwab, Um, coin the term discipline. Kay Phoenix, various discipline. Okay? Mag-drill tayo mamaya pagkatapos ng progressive view. Okay? So, dito na tayo sa, mga, sa apat na bida sa progressive view. Okay? Unahin natin si John Dewey. Siya naman ang, ang mga clue dito, use and disuse. Okay? Reflective thinking. Kay John Dewey, Use and disuse and reflective thinking. Next, Hollis Caswell and Ken Campbell. Campbell. Sabi naman dya, niya ay more on guidance naman. Okay? View curriculum as so all experiences children have under the guidance of teachers. Okay? Pag kay Hollis Caswell and Campbell, guidance. Kay John Dewey, use and disuse at saka reflective thinking. Next, kay three. 3S naman tayo, kay Othaniel Ota, Smith, William Stanley, and Harlan Shore. Okay, again, Smith, Stanley Shore. Smith, Stanley Shore. Smith, Stanley Shore. Sa kanila naman, Smith, Stanley Shore, pag sabi, sunod sequence. Okay, sabi nila, define curriculum as a sequence of potential experiences set up in school. So, clue natin kay 3S, sequence. Okay. Next, kay Colin Marsh naman tayo at kay George Willis. Ano naman ang dapat tatanda, tatandaan sa kanila ay ang word na plan. Okay? View curriculum as all the experiences in the classroom which are planned and enacted by the teacher and also learned by the students. Okay, again, basta um, pro, kay Colin Marsh and George Willis, planned. Okay, naintindihan na? So, mag-drill tayo. From start sa una, okay? Sige, ready na? Okay, one, two, three, go. Pag sinabi nating policy and standards, ano ito? Recommended curriculum. Pag sinabing um, unwritten curriculum, experiences, hidden or implicit curriculum. Pag sinabi namang put life to the written curriculum, ito yung thought curriculum. Pag sinabi namang documents, Based on the recommended curriculum, yung mga lesson plan, CG, written curriculum. Pag sinabi naman natin, evaluate, evaluated after it has been taught, assessed curriculum. Pag sinabi naman, um, non-print materials and print materials or the learning materials, supported curriculum. Yun lang. Next, dito na tayo sa mga roles. Pag sinabi namang make yearly or monthly daily plan, lesson plan, yan na, planner. Pag gumagawa ng libro, research, takes record of knowledge, writer. Pag sinabi namang determine if the desired learning outcomes have been achieved, evaluator. Pag sinabi namang gives life to the curriculum plan, implementer. For example, creativity and innovation, out of the box or unique, innovator. For example, naman open-mindedness, merong willingness to adapt, initiator. Ayon. Ano ang five factors to consider in planning a curriculum? LMTSD. Again, LMTSD. Ano yon? Learner, materials, time, subject, and desired outcomes. Next, dito na tayo sa traditional and progressive na drill. Pag sinabing um, ordinary, ano to? Traditional. Pag sinabing enrich, progressive. Pag sinabing limited, traditional. Pag sinabing broad, progressive. Ito naman ang sum total of all the learning experiences. Progressive definition. A set of courses, traditional. Curriculum only occurs inside the classroom, traditional. Curriculum occurs only... Inside and outside the classroom, progressive.
entire range of experience, progressive. System of dealing and planned learning experiences and list of subjects and courses, traditional. Okay, kanino naman na bilong si Robert Hutchins, Arthur Bestor, Joseph Schwab, and Philip Phoenix? Sa traditional. How about si John Dewey, Hollis Caswell, and Ken Campbell, or Daniel Smith, Stanley, Harlan Shore, Colin Marsh, and George Willis? Sa progressive. Ano ang meaning ng Raj P? Again, Raj P, Robert Hutchins, Arthur Bestor, Joseph Schwab, Philip Phoenix. Pag sinabi namang jock, jock, John Dewey, Hollis Caswell, Otaniel Smith, Colin Marsh. Sino naman ang 3S? Si Smith, si Stanley, at saka si Shore. Okay, dito tayo sa mga traditional view. Sabi niya, permanent studies. 3 hours daw sa basic education at liberal education sa college. Robert Hutchins. Ano yung mga um, emphasize sa liberal, humanities, and arts? Sino naman nagsabi na intellectual training? Si Arthur Bestor. Ano yung subject doon? Math, science, history, at saka foreign language. Sino naman nag-coin ng discipline? Si Schwab. Pag sinabing various discipline, Phoenix. Philip Phoenix. Pag sinabing reflective thinking, use and disuse, si John Dewey. Pag sinabing guidance, Hollis Caswell and Ken Campbell. Pag sinabing sequence of potential experiences at um, school, si Smith, Stanley, at saka si Shore. Pag sinabing all the experiences in the classroom which are planned, sino nagsabi? Si Colin Marsh and George Willis. Okay, so that's it for part one. Um, See you on part two.